Welcome to the e-licensing video tutorials. How to add or remove an authorized attorney from your account. If you are an authorized attorney representing a business, then the e-licensing administrator for that business must add you to e-licensing. If you want to notify the e-licensing administrator to add you, you can do that in e-licensing without a login. On the e-licensing page, on the right-hand side, click the Join button. On the Join page, you've got two options. You want the first one. Search for the license number, business name, or DBA of the business you are representing. For this demo, we're going to search by license number. If you see the business you're looking for, select it. On the next screen, enter your information, and then click Submit. On the next screen, you should get a notice back that says your request has been sent to your administrator, and that's where you stop. If you are the administrator, you add an authorized attorney the same way you add a regular user. So after you've logged in, this is your top screen. You'll scroll down to the bottom, click on Manage Your Account, which is down at the very last bottom. Here you click on the View and Create Contacts. Click on the Associate New User, because we only have one so far. Our admin person puts Doug's information in right here. The user role options are Dealer or Attorney. There is no option to note the different license types, so the dealer selection is for everyone who is not an attorney. Be sure to mark your attorney as such and any other person who is not an attorney representing you as a dealer. Select your organization name if needed and click Submit. The screen will refresh and you'll get one of two messages. Either the new person will be added to the list or you will get a message that says this account is already registered with us. If you see the person added to your list, then you're done. If you get the already registered message, it means their email address is already in use in e-licensing and there's a special form to complete that will allow us to add the user to your e-licensing business account in an alternate fashion. So when you get the response that this email address already exists in e-licensing, in order to add them to your account, you have to come over to our website and get a special form. Our website is txdmv.gov and when you open it, there will be a rotating banner on the top and a little border up above that has some options and a middle section. The middle section has an option for dealers. Also at the top is an option for dealers. Either one from the top or from the middle section clicking on the visit portal will take you to our dealers page. On our dealers page on the right hand side is a section for forms under the dealers toolbox. Click on Forms. When the page reloads, under the General Forms section, you want to find the LF706 application to provide attorney access to e-licensing. Click to download the form. Depending on your browser type, the form may download or it may ask you to open it. Fill out this form and submit it. And here's what the form looks like. On the top, the title tells us it's for the attorney's access to e-licensing, and when you scroll down the form, there's just a few fields to complete. It is a digital submission. There's a submit button right on the form. Once we get it, we will review it and approve it. Then our specialist can add that email address to your account so that your authorized attorney can represent you. To remove an attorney, this is the same as removing a regular user. You view the contact person, and remove the checkboxes next to their associations. Here's a sample of what that looks like with Jared. So let's look at Jared. Right now, Jared is only a contact for Lost Boys Auto. If we want to add him to Motorhome Specialist, we simply click the box, click Save Changes, and we have a message that says it's updated. Now, Let's say Jared has moved on and we don't want him associated with either account anymore. You click both of those check boxes so they go away. Click Save Changes. Changes are saved successfully. When we go back to our list, 
Jared is no longer on this list. We can double check with going back to view my accounts. Check Lost Boys Auto. No Jared. So that is how you remove a contact.